Girl Cop Chat TV preview episode, you know. Call the lineup. Boy, the lineup for Man City. Preview, big match, probably the most important league game of the season. I'm going, obviously, Kelleha. Start with from left back, give me more time to think about the right back. <laughs> Burks and Carlos, Konate, Van Dijk. Fucking Bradley. Bradley. Because you know what? Let Klopp, let Doku run the other way as well. If we play Gomez, Gomez is just going to defend. Doku's just going to keep coming at him and it's going to be a one-way battle. When you're playing against Bradley, Bradley's running the other way. Let's see how you defend. End of defensive mid. McAllister and Sobaslai. Left Diaz. Up front Nunes. Right Mohamed Salah. And let's, 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 let's attack them. Let's go for them. Uh, not over the top because a draw wouldn't be the worst result in the world. But we need to, if we beat them, and then they got Arsenal the next week after that, it's problems. It's real, real, real problems. So, because the form Arsenal are in right now, good form. Arsenal could give them, a, could get something from that game. Like, if we, if we was to beat them down, then Arsenal beat them down. But fuck it, I say it, we'll win the league. We'll win the league. You understand? That's, that, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's a big if, though. It's a big damn if. But obviously, they're in form as well. Haaland's been firing two shots across the bow, talking about, oh, I won the treble. It was a good feeling. I don't think Trent knows that feeling. Shut up, you idiot. Wait till them 115 charges land. Let's see how you're feeling then. You understand? To be fair, maybe Trent shouldn't have said what he said. But... It's not like he just came out and said, yeah, man, see, man, man, not asking him questions. He's answering them, innit? So, we'll see. But you know what you've done? You stupid idiot. You raised the temperature in Anfield. What was already going to be mad. I remember last time you came here, man, dashed a stone through your window and bust up your, your team bus. And you lot got scared and lost the game. So, hopefully, that don't happen to you. Hopefully, that does happen again. Hopefully. Hopefully, we win without the stones being thrown, you know what I mean? Because people in glass houses. But... It's a big game. It's I don't want to say a title decider, but if they was if they were to defeat us at Anfield, it's looking tight for us, isn't it? So it's so we need to take them out or minimum draw. Minimum. And then if we draw with them, we kinda need them to be Arsenal. So it's it's all relying on other teams. If we can just take them out, which I think we can, they give up chances, but to be fair. Then against Sparta Prague, we gave up chances as well. We did give up chances, but our main defence weren't playing. Quanto was the first time I kind of saw him kind of getting a little bit caught out, giving the ball away. It looked like, for the first time, he didn't look like just straight in there. So, Solo, back in, looked sharp. Super Slight warmed up. McAllister is in top form. Endo's ready. Endo's ready. Diaz is in top form. Burson Carlos is in top form. Van Dijk's imperious. Kelleher's in top form. We've got to go for it, man. We didn't necessarily think we was going to be here at the beginning of the season, but some of us knew that we hadn't fallen off last season. Our legs was gone in midfield. That was literally it. Our legs didn't have to... Our midfield didn't have the legs to support the defence or the attack. So we were just getting, just getting outrun by all, all and sundry. Remember all them stats coming out? Oh. This team ran X amount of kilometers more than the Liverpool midfield. Like we were just getting outrun, and now we got runners. We got legs in midfield, and man, are putting in hard yards, and that's the difference. And we got that little technical prowess. So, what's the scoreline gonna be? What's your scoreline? Say it now. Three so one. Scorers, you got scorers, or that's too much. Joe Gomez. Oh. <laughs> see what you see. What I have to do with. <laughs> It's Nunes, isn't it? It's Nunes. It's Nunes had... Nunes is going to do a madness. I'll say 2-0. Clean sheet. Clean sheet. If we clean sheet them, Joe Mez, Joe Mez is making it 1-0. I might say we clean sheet them. We're going to win. Maybe 2-1. Maybe 2-1. I don't know if we're going to clean sheet them, but Van Dijk, when Van Dijk plays against Haaland, he always goes mad. So it's like he's, he's like more challenge brings out more out of him. And Harlan's been talking as well, shouldn't have been talking shit. And those guaranteed a yellow card. 
Guarantee. Put your bets on now. That yellow card is free money. He's giving away free money at this point. If you're not bo- if you're not betting on Endo to get booked, you must be rich. Car. He's just giving it, he's giving away free money right now. I'm going for a Liverpool win. I don't know if I'm being biased. There's a high chance I could be being biased, but I think we're gonna do him and we need to. Not only do I want that, but I need that. So yeah, man, Cop Chat TV, that's our prediction. That's our early pre-match Liverpool Man City. I don't know what their starting lineup is, and to be honest, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna be heavy. It's, yeah, whoever they bring out is gonna be a dark. They got man like 105 million pound substitute sitting on the bench. Jack Grealish don't even play. Gavardio, 95 million pound sitting on the bench. Yeah, Mateus Nunes bent up his finger. But look how good you're playing for Wolves. Now you're just sitting down. That's 50 million sitting on the bench. Like, yeah, you won the trophies. And I've seen teams spend money and not win trophies. So big up, big up. But they could never chat to us. They could never chat to us about what they've done because let's just see what happens when the charges land in it. Let's see what happens when the charges land. Because remember, bare people like the chief of the chief operating officer left Man City and went to Man United. What do rats do? Rats jump off a sinking ship. So maybe they know something we don't. You understand? People are cutting, and that's not the only one, you know. There's been others. Man's gone Newcastle, man's gone here and there. The rats are fleeing. You know what I mean? So maybe the cheese is run out. I don't know, but we'll see in it. Copchat TV, Bomsky.